Welcome to our College Week Live webcast. We are at Grandview University in Des Moines, Iowa. My name is Katie Heather. I'm a freshman admissions counselor in our admissions office here. And I've got two students with me and I'm gonna let them introduce themselves now. I'm Emily Blackford. I'm a junior from Eden Prairie, Minnesota and I'm majoring in liberal arts and minoring in Spanish and history. I'm Rachel Rickey. I'm a sophomore from Garner, Iowa and I'm majoring in biology. All right, I'm gonna give um, folks out there some really basic information about Grandview um, and then we're going to move on to some questions. If you all have some questions feel free to submit those. Um, we're also going to ask some questions of the students because those are the people that m usually our visitors are most interested in hearing from. Uh, Grandview University is a private liberal arts college um, located in Des Moines as I said earlier which is the capital city of Iowa. Um, we have about 40 majors on our campus Probably some of the most popular, our largest major on campus is nursing, um, right along, followed very closely by business administration, education, uh, criminal justice, communications. Those are some of the more popular majors that we offer here. Um, our classes are small. We have about a 14 to 1 student to faculty ratio, um, with the average class sizes hovering right around 17. Um, what's your experience been in class size? Did you have larger classes as freshmen? Are they smaller now that you're a junior? Could you give us some ideas about that? Um, I found that my classes as a underclassman were tended to be bigger. Uh, now that I'm a junior, it's I've had a class size that was four people, and then I've had a class size that's been 30 people. So it just really depends on what major you choose to pursue. Same for you. Yeah, same for me. Um, my largest class was in the 20s, mm -hmm. and that was an intro level lecture class, and then I've had a class of just six of us. Okay, so Grandview in itself is a pretty traditional small um, private school. Um, some of the differences about us that separate us from other private schools, primarily in the state of Iowa when we're comparing, um, would be our location. The fact that we're a small school in a larger community um, is definitely a draw for our students um, because of internship opportunities as well as volunteer opportunities. There's always um, some type of volunteer work being coordinated through the campus out in our Des Moines community. Um, students are able to take part in that as well as faculty and staff um, for as much or as little as they choose to do. Have either of you been involved in any volunteer activities through the campus? I have not, but I've done stuff with Luther Memorial before, which is our church on campus. I have been involved with Viking Volunteers, which mm -hmm. is one of the volunteer groups on campus. So, awesome. Um, a little bit more about Des Moines. Um, we are a fairly large community. Um, as I said, it is the capital city. We have lots of um, larger organizations. People kind of know us as the insurance capital. Um, we have some large companies, Principal, Wells Fargo, Wellmark. Um, Meredith Corporation, which is a publishing company, is located here. There's five hospitals located in this community, and our students uh, that are nursing majors have um, involvement in all of those different hospitals. We're not affiliated with any one. Um, we have a large school district in our community as well as several suburbs in close um, surrounding communities that students are able to do practicum experience or student teaching experience and not have to um, veer too far from campus. Um, a little bit about the admissions process. Um, Grandview has an admissions process where you can apply online for free anytime at our website which is www.admissions.grandview.edu. Um, then submit us an official high school transcript. Um, for the transcript to be considered official, it has to come directly from the school to our office in a sealed envelope. And then we also need official ACT or SAT scores. Um, those can either come straight from the testing organization, so when you sign up to take the test, if you have those scores sent to Grandview, that would be considered official. Um, also, if those test scores are, con are included on your official high school transcript, those would be considered official as well. Once we receive those three things, Grandview has an admissions, um, individualized admissions process. So if you are deciding to apply to Grandview, then your file would be reviewed by an admissions counselor. We would take a look at the courses you've taken, um, your class rank, if that applies to you, uh, your ACT or SAT scores, and make a decision based on that information. For transfer students, um, typically we need those pieces of information as well as any um, transcripts from community colleges or four-year schools that you've attended prior to uh, wanting to attend Grandview. Um, we do have financial aid available to students. Um, by filing the FAFSA, you are considered for all types of financial aid 
um, that the state or the federal government would offer. In addition to that, every student that is accepted to Grandview receives an academic scholarship of some kind based on your um, academic criteria prior to coming to Grandview. So for high school students, that would be a combination of ACT or SAT, class rank, and GPA. You can find that information more specifically on our website, um, and you would be able to find specific amounts. Um, they range anywhere from $3,500 up to $10,000 for on-campus students and that is based solely on what you've done prior to coming to Grandview. If you would receive any athletic scholarships, which we are able to give because we are an NAIA institution, those are stacked on top of your academic scholarship and any other free money that you receive from your FAFSA is also stacked on top of that. So um, there is a potential to receive a lot of um, assistance to attend our school and in fact, most of our students do. Um, everybody at the very minimum is receiving an academic scholarship. Um, but the large majority of our students are also receiving um, a significant amount of financial aid as well. Um, to sign up for a campus visit, you can do a couple different things. You can either call our admissions office at uh, a direct line would be 515-263-2810. Um, or you can go to our website, again, www.admissions.grandview.edu, and you can sign up for a visit online. All of our contact information is there as well if you'd like to call um, our office. Um, we have visit events, um, which are structured visit days that you would visit the campus in a group setting, uh, but we also encourage students to do an individual visit if that's something um, that you would like to talk to faculty or if there's any coaches, um, music, theater, any of those people that you would like to speak with, an individual visit is really the best way to go. Um, we typically do those visits Monday through Friday. Um, our office hours are 8.15 to 4.30 during the school year, um, but we can work around your schedule. If an evening visit works better for you or if it works better to come on the weekend, um, we can try to make that happen as well. Let's um, hear a little bit more from our students. Um, I guess my first question for each of you is why did you choose to come to Grandview? Um, even though I'm from out of state, I do have some family in the area. Um, I transferred here my sophomore year and I was in a small school just like Grandview, but it was in the middle of nowhere. And I really like being in Des Moines uh, because there's so much to do on top of being a small school. Um, but And then we have all these activities on campus, like we get free movie night, and that's probably my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, I came from a small high school, so when I started looking through for colleges, I knew I wanted to pick a smaller school. And I heard about Grandview and I took a tour and as cheesy as it sounds, um, everything just kind of felt right, everything fell into place and anytime I thought about college it was Grandview and so that's kind of how I made my decision. It was just the right feeling for me. Do you, um, and you both live on campus, so could you talk to us a little bit about what it's like to live here? Um, our, you mentioned the movie night. So, you know, could you talk a little bit more about the activities that are planned for you? Is a lot of it structured? Is it, are you left with more free time? And what is your experience? Um, I found that living on campus is about 100 times easier than living off campus, and it costs about the same. I actually looked at apartments off campus, and they cost about the same. Um, and then you don't have to you know, eliminate the commute. Um, it's about a seven minute walk across campus. Um, another nice thing is that we have a student activities council that plans all kinds of free stuff for us uh, throughout the month. Usually sometimes it's free movie night, uh, free bowling, free ice skating. Uh, sometimes they have a meal at Luther Memorial. All through Lent this year, we're having a meal every Wednesday at Luther Memorial, which is super nice. We like that. <laughs> free food. <laughs> Yeah. Um, another good thing about living on campus is everyone you get a chance to meet. Um, I feel like people that don't live on campus, you kind of miss out on that, getting to know a lot of different people from a lot of different areas and backgrounds that you wouldn't normally come into contact with, but being able to live in the, together really helps. What are some of the, like, you know, you mentioned that you enjoy the movie night. What are some of your favorite, um, favorite activities that you've been involved in that were planned for you from some of the campus organizations? Um, I think when they planned all that stuff during homecoming, mm -hmm. they had like speakers and there was a night where, I'm trying to remember, um, I don't know, they planned we one We had a thing. hypnotist. Yeah, a hypnotist, a, that was fun. <laughs> and a vocal acapella band come Ooh, in. the acapella band, mm -hmm. Twice. that was really good. They were fun. <laughs> 
and they had a dance for us that they also planned a lot of dances for us so we have this thing called gb glow which is just a huge everyone wears white and then they throw paint at you it's really fun it sounds kind of weird but it's really fun <laughs> and then they play a bunch of music and it's just stuff like that we have you're never really bored on campus even though there's no one keeping track of your entire schedule it's just you on your own but they they try to keep you busy on weekends or weekdays when there's not really much going on okay we had a question um, the student was interested in knowing what type of visual arts courses are offered here um, I'm assuming that you're probably referring to the types of majors we offer several majors within our arts department um, there's a studio arts degree which would be more of a traditional painting drawing type of coursework um, but we also offer a photography major we also offer graphics design um, there's art education we have an art therapy certificate that can be um, added to any major program that we offer um, the art program here is outstanding it's probably um, it has a very really strong reputation specifically in the Des Moines area um, there's a Des Moines Arts Festival that's held every year and our students have been heavily involved in that over the last several years. We also have some really great internship opportunities in the Des Moines area for artists, um, no matter what um, area it is that they're interested in being involved in. We offer art scholarships to students that are interested in an art major all during the month of February. Those students are invited to come to our campus and um, bring eight to ten pieces of their work and go through a portfolio review with their faculty. Um, they award scholarships anywhere from 500 to about $2,000 that are all, all renewable based on criteria that's been set by the faculty department um, within the art department. Um, but that is an, a very unique opportunity to that major. Um, we also have some questions here for the students about having a car on campus. Um, now, you had mentioned you're from out of state, so was it something that you felt was necessary at the beginning? You, I know you both have vehicles, but do you feel like that would be a necessity, or what are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I thought it was a necessity because at my last school you had to drive to get places, but um, we have gas stations that are just a block or two down the road, and we have grocery stores that are a block or two down the road, so walking is really not like an issue, and also you have a ton of friends on campus that would be more than willing to give you a ride. There's not a whole lot of people that choose to um, not have a vehicle, but there is there are people that would be willing to give you a ride. And we have a bus, because Grandview students um, get on the public bus for free, and that's our DART bus system. And that goes all throughout the metro. Uh, we had another question from a student that wanted to know uh, the average amount of athletic scholarship money. Um, and that's a really tough question to answer. The um, coaches get to make all the decisions about who gets an athletic scholarship and how much. Um, so they do, there is a pretty large range. I would say in my experience in viewing athletic awards from students, an average number might be about $2,000. Some are more, some are less. Um, but I do think that's probably a fair number to kind of sit right in the middle. Um, you don't have to be on an athletic scholarship in order to participate here. Um, we do have JV programs affiliated with most of our athletic teams. Um, it doesn't mean that every student that participates is on an athletic scholarship, so there's a lot of opportunity for involvement. Um, Emily, why don't you talk to us a little bit about being involved with the wrestling team? Yeah, I don't actually play sports at Grandview, but I do manage the men's wrestling team. Um, that is actually a work study for me, so I do get paid for that, but before I was just a volunteer because I, I love wrestling. Um, and I put in just about as much hours as the wrestlers do, so if you are not interested in being an athlete, you can be a manager to any team you wish because they're always needing some people to help out. Awesome, thank you. Um, let's talk a little bit about your relationship with your instructors. Um, do you, what can you tell us a little bit about that? Do you feel that they're approachable? Um, how do they hold their office hours or what's, what's the best way that you are able to contact those people? Most teachers give us email, phone number, um, home phone number, cell phone number, everything. And I've had teachers be like, yeah, come to my house and eat dinner with my family. <laughs> or um, usually our teachers know us all by name and we haven't, we're not just like a number in a system. And if you miss class, they usually know about it and they're like, where were you? They'll send you a text. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they're all like that, so that's pretty nice. Good. Yeah, I would agree. Our professors are very approachable. Um, they're required to have five office hours a week, but a lot of them are in there a lot more than that, and they always have like the open door policy, like if I'm in my office, stop by anytime. 
And um, I've never felt uncomfortable stopping in their office or even like talking to them after class about anything I needed. So it's a good, you get a good relationship with your professors. Good. Um, here's a good question. What is, if you could do it over again, what is something that you regret not doing your freshman year on campus? Well, ultimately coming to Grandview, that's that's the first <laughs> one. Um, another thing is I wish I would have um, gone to more sporting events because I right now I go to everything, all sports I try to support. Um, but like freshman year, you're afraid because you don't think that people will know you or well, it's true you can't know people if you don't go places. So like just getting out there and seeing our sporting teams is something I wish I would have done more. Mine kind of goes with that. I wish I was more confident and more like willing to go out and do things. Um, it wasn't until about the end of my freshman year that I started really getting involved in different activities. I kind of just kept to myself because I'm a more introverted person. So that would be my biggest thing. It's just I didn't take, the, didn't seize the opportunity to um, go out more. Than mm -hmm. I think we let the label of freshman kind of hinder us from doing yeah. more things because we're like, oh, people won't want us there. We're a freshman. That's really not the case. They don't know you're a freshman unless you say you're a freshman. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's just easier to, you know, don't let that notion of I'm a freshman, you know, like hinder you from doing anything because you really can be involved even if you are a freshman on campus. It's very true. You're both um, heavily involved in different student leadership activities on campus. Why don't you talk to us a little bit more about that process? How did you find out about those positions? What kind of training did you go through? What student leadership activities are you involved in? Well, I'm part of Team GB, which is, um, we give tours and we work in the admissions office. Um, so I did that at my last university as a freshman, and then I came here and I decided I wanted to do it again. And they sent us big emails for like weeks about student leadership sign up, and we have like 10 different leadership organizations and it's all different parts of campus that um, are different parts of our campus that uh, they deal with and um, we do this huge student leadership retreat during the summer um, sometimes if you're a part of a different student leadership organization they have another trip planned for you and it's just basically this huge like learning experience and an opportunity to meet new people and I think I've met just dozens of new people just from being a part of student leadership alone um, and for me, I'm also on Team GB, and I'm also on GB United, which works with alumni. And so both of those got really helped because I got to meet a lot of new people. And with GB United, I got to make relations with alumni, which will help me down the road when I'm going to like apply for med school and looking for jobs and things like that. So and then, like Emily was saying, there's a lot of different like retreats and things they do. So everyone like gets together, and a lot of my close friends I met through student leadership. So great. Um, I think we've got time for maybe one more question. Real quick, why don't you guys tell us what is your favorite memory so far of being a student at Grandview? Probably when I was at the National Wrestling Tournament um, of last year it, during March. We, it was at the um, Iowa State Fairgrounds. And it was amazing. We won after our heavyweight pinned the guy and we thought we weren't going to win and it was just like everyone was freaking out and we were on our home turf and it was just awesome <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, I don't know if I can pinpoint one exact memory but I think like most like the one thing is just meeting everybody like getting to meet everybody that was like the big thing for me because I met a lot of new people okay awesome um, well I think that about wraps up our portion of the web chat um, again, my name is Katie Heather. I'm a freshman admissions counselor here at Grandview. We have several women in our office that are here to help throughout the admissions process um, and answer any questions that you may have. You can always reach us by calling our office at 515-263-2810 or by going to our website, which is www.admissions.grandview.edu. And actually, if you go to that website, you can find a link to a list of all of the names of the admissions counselors and what territory or what parts of the state or the country um, we all work with so you could even contact the person that you need to work with directly uh, to answer any questions that you may have um, all right thanks guys thanks for helping and we're gonna go ahead and transition to our next group um, which is a faculty member with two students um, are we go ahead okay to go ahead okay take a break and all right thank you